Hello, today we've come for an interview with uh, Mr. Shobjani and it is a special and today we are going to discuss about something which has been intriguing uh, cricket fans for a very long time and Mr. Shobjani has the answer. So Mr. Shobjani today is going to go ahead and talk about uh, one of the most intriguing questions which is intriguing all the cricket fans today. And that is, why is Mr. Gavaskar so angry with Virat Kohli? And Mr. Shobjani knows that uh, he, he, he just came to our studio and we will be asking him many questions. And we will be going ahead and making many segments about cricket. And he will be answering all, all the tough questions. He's saying that he knows everything and he will answer all the intriguing tough questions. So, uh, but we are going to start with the first question which is the most intriguing one which is like a Bigfoot Yeti Loch Ness Monster question is that why is Mr. Sunil Gavaskar so angry with Mr. Virat Kohli and uh, what is the reason behind it so Mr. Shobjani over to you yes uh, yes I am Mr. Shobjani and uh, uh, today I will be answering all the questions uh, all the cricket questions okay and uh, well many people are asking me this question that why is Mr. Gavaskar so angry with Mr. Virat Kohli? Now this is my inference and you know you cannot take my word as it is but this is my inference, my opinion based on the facts which I know. Okay. Now what I do remember is that uh, in 2020 there was a big thing which happened. I don't know whether you guys remember it but uh, Sunil Gavaskar made a flipping comment about uh, Virat Kohli's batting or his performance uh, well, concerning his uh, wife Anushka Sharma and uh, I will tell you exactly what happened okay so that you all understand exactly what is the whole issue okay I think uh, many people have forgotten it but I think it is that issue which has lingered on in Mr. Sunil Gavaskar's mind and every time he gets a chance or an opportunity to take a pot shot on Mr. Virat Kohli then he goes ahead and he remembers that and he really loses it honestly speaking when I watch him um, I don't know because he's a very composed man and he's a very logical person and I love Mr. Sunil Gavaskar honestly speaking I love Mr. Sunil Gavaskar but why does he behave like this? I don't know. There has to be some reason. And since Mr. Shobjani is Mr. Sigmund Freud, Mr. Sigmund Freud plus uh, Jung, uh, I know, I can understand that a human mind works in various mysterious ways. So let me first tell you exactly what the incident was. See, Anushka Sharma had criticized Sunil Gavaskar for his distasteful commentary on and accusing a wife for her husband's game. Uh, in an Instagram story uh, which he posted. You see, uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore lost an IPL match comprehensively to Kings Eleven Punjab in 2020, okay? And while that commentary was uh, going on, you see, uh, Josh Willis was playing. Josh Phillips' early dismissal had given Virat Kohli a chance to play more overs. So... Earlier at that time, Virat Kohli never used to open for Royal Challengers Bangalore. So Kohli walked out in the 12th over in RCB's first match of 2020 IPL. So Gavaskar said when Kohli walked out, he dropped two catches in the field so he knows he has to do something special. This was something he said. And after a bit of live action, uh, the other commentator said after Kohli was beaten on a pull shot, Players are playing after a long time, so you can see the rustiness. They are not yet fully ready. If you see Kohli's IPL record, he's unparalleled. And he asked Sunny that, but Sunny Bhai, it is not easy to not play any cricket for six to eight months. To that, uh, what Gavaskar said in response, and it was in Hindi, he said that he hasn't had the chance to do the practice you need. He always uh, wants. He knows that the more he practices, the better he will B. And during the lockdown, he only practiced against the bowling of Anushka as seen in that video because they had posted an Instagram story during lockdown, uh, Anushka was bowling to Virat Kohli and that is not going to be enough. Okay, now the problem with this statement was that this was in Hindi and the exact statement which Mr. Gavaskar uh, stated was that in lockdown mein to bus 
अनुष्का की गेंदों की प्रैक्टिस ही की है नाउ व्हेन दिस स्टेटमेंट ऑफ गावस्कर केम आउट इन द इन द न्यूज़पेपर और वेर एवर द फर्स्ट प्रेस दोज इडियट्स ट्रांसलेटेड इट लिटरली ही दे सेट विराट कोहली हैज ओनली ट्रेंड अगेंस्ट अनुष्का बॉल्स ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन एंड इट्स साउंडेड रियली डिस्टेस्टफुल एंड ऑरफुल एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई थिंक अनुष्का वॉज डेफिनेटली वॉज शी वॉज वेरी अनॉयड विद द होल थिंग एंड शी सेट दैट शी सेट अ फ्यू थिंग्स इन द इंस्टाग्राम स्टोरी and she said that uh, that your message is distasteful is a fact that i would love for you to explain why you thought of making such a sweeping statement on a wife accusing her for her husband's game i'm sure over the years you have respected the in the private life of every cricketer while commentating on the game don't you think you should have equal amount of respect for me and us i'm sure you can have many other words and sentences in your minds mind in to use to comment on my husband's performance from last night or are your words only relevant if you use my name in the process and uh, it's 2020 and things still don't change for me uh, when will i stop getting dragged into cricket and stop being used to pass sweeping comments because anushka sharma unfortunately for a very long time had taken the puck of uh, kohli's uh, poor performance on the field when she was on field it was very difficult because i still remember that one few matches when she went to watch and kohli really didn't perform well and everybody started blaming anushka for it it was very unfortunate and i think that is something you know as a human being or as a person when you are connected with a such a powerful cricketing personality and you get blamed you get blamed by the public and you cannot stop them they go ahead and call you names and says very awful things and then when gavaskar commented something like that which got translated so hideously she really felt bad so gavaskar had stated that you know he took it lightly and he said that uh, uh, as you hear from the commentary akash and i were doing commentary for the hindi channel and akash was talking about the fact that there was very little chance for proper practice for everybody that has actually shown in the rustiness of some of the players in the first matches rohit didn't strike the ball well msd didn't strike the ball well virat didn't strike the ball most of the batsmen were doing so because of lack of practice because of lockdown this was the point that was being made virat also had no practice and the only practice that he had when we saw them playing in the bingling compound and anushka was bowling to him that's what i said that's the only bowling i have not added any other word she was bowling to him that's all he added and where am i blaming her where am i being sexist in this i'm just saying what was seen in the video which was maybe recorded by somebody in the neighboring buildings and then put up that's the only thing i'm doing uh, the point i'm trying to make is that there was no practice to anybody including virat in the lockdown i'm not being sexist if anybody has interpreted it what can i do you know me i'm the one who has always batted for wives going with husbands on tour i'm the one the normal guy going to office for a 9 to 5 job when he comes back home he comes back to his wife similarly cricketers when they go out for a tour or even when they are playing at home why can't they have their wives with them because after working hours are over they have to get back to their wives like any other common man does so do so i'm not blaming her he concluded so this was something i feel honestly i feel that this was a really big thing on i think both the parties were a little hurt by the whole thing even though words were uh, exchanged and uh, it was brought to a kind of a decent conclusion yet i think there was a certain degree of tension which existed and which has lingered on because i don't think gavaskar liked the fact that his name was mentioned in that instagram story and i don't think anushka even didn't like what gavaskar stated then and there he could have probably just apologized and said that i didn't mean it if you really don't mean something and if something actually hurts a person still you should go ahead and apologize because honestly speaking anushka really has taken a lot for virat kohli i i'm also one of those i like to say i'm also one of those idiots i still remember in the champions cup final when virat didn't really play well and anushka was there in the crowd i felt why did she come why did she come i always felt that you know it put an extra bit of pressure on virat to perform or not perform or anything as a sportsman it's difficult uh, but 
I think I was wrong. I, 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 I personally think it was wrong and I really feel happy that it has worked out. They both are happily married. They have two kids. It's great. I'm just so happy to see this, uh, uh, this, this fairy tale evolve. Honestly, this is a fairy tale. Anushka Sharma and Virat Kohli is like a fairy tale. Honestly. And I just hope... I, I just want them to live happily ever after with their kids and everything. And I just want this misunderstanding which has happened between Gavaskar and Virat Kohli and Anushka Sharma and everything. Now, it is a long time it needs to subside. I am a video. I am coming. So, I really think it is high time they bury the hatchet and move on. For the current episode, for the current episode which has happened regarding Virat Kohli and Sunil Gavaskar, see, it was very early in IPL and I have to say, yes, I also have issues with Virat Kohli's strike rate, but right now what he has done is he has understood that and he has evolved his game. He has really evolved his game. And I have time and again, if you watch my videos, I have told that Virat Kohli is incredible in a run chase because he knows how to calibrate his innings but when he used to bat first he used to sometimes he, he sometimes used to think that what is my role do i need to stay till the end what is my how much uh, risk element i should employ in some of the shots how should i pace my innings when i'm batting first and good to see that virat has actually got the balance and i believe um, I don't know, inadvertently these comments regarding his strike rate has actually worked for him because he, I don't know, unconsciously or consciously has actually worked on his game which shows in IPL 2024. For I'm, I'm on, I, right now you actually see the best Virat Kohli who can chase and at the same time also set a really commanding total. And he has really worked on his game when batting first. That was where... We, I, what? How can I say? I'm not going to question Virat Kohli's strike rate. But what I'm just trying to say is that that was a chink in his armor which he has fixed by understanding exactly where he was going wrong. Uh, uh, right now, Virat is not on cloud 9. He's on cloud 10. If you ask me, he should actually be the captain of India. Virat Kohli right now should be the captain of India because he's playing his best game. He's thinking the best. His thinking is crystal right now. He's got the best influences working for him right now. Uh, please, let's just forget it, you know. And I think Gavaskar, you should just, uh, you you are the senior guy. You should extend the olive branch and you should go and meet Virat and you should shake hands and give him all the advice you have in, in the world. Because advice from you will help us win the World Cup. So stop fighting, man. Stop fighting. I, I love you both. You know, it's like, you know, I love Khabib and Connor both. <laughs> Yin and Hang. Now, I, it's not a suitable analogy, but right now, Gavaskar and Kohli is like two camps. If you love Gavaskar, you don't love Kohli. If you love Kohli, you don't love Gavaskar. Come on. What's this, yeah? Both of them are uh, great cricketers. Both of them were, are legends. Both of them are legends. They both should bury the hatchet and move on. I think this is one of the reasons why something is there in Gavas back of Gavaskar's mind. Otherwise, Gavaskar said that Virat ranted, right? I don't think Virat ranted here. Yeah. He was asked a question and he gave a very, very decent, sensible reply. And I think uh, 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 Virat did not respond to that question having Gavaskar in his mind because I think Harsha Bogle asked that question. So I think it was more for Harsha Bogle because he, he said that, listen, you've not played cricket so you don't know how it is to be in the middle and how to actually go ahead and uh, okay, I made 70 out of 44 whatever. I won the match, right? So I, I know exactly how to calibrate my innings, how to take the risk shots, how to take it along you have to judge the pitch. You have to judge the moment. You have to think about it. In the last match, CSK versus RCB, when they came back from the rain interrupted match, the ball was spinning like mad. Duplessis and uh, Virat played that spell, played that, uh, played that uh, 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 time uh, so well. If they had not, there could have been a major collapse. There could be three to four or five wickets down. But Virat hit those sixes. It, it was just insane, those sixes which Virat hit out of those difficult balls by Tiksana and Shantna. It's just 
cricket, that's the beauty of cricket. Things can change in a second. You have to wait through a tough time and then again you have to launch the attack. That's the beauty of cricket. So, everybody questioning is strike rate. Come on, man. You just, you just need to wake up and you need to stop being so uh, rakish. You know, it, it's not required. And I think, I hope you all understood what has happened here. I think there's a little bit of baggage from that incident and things are not forgotten. I'll tell you one thing. If people have a little bit of an ego, things are not forgotten. Two years is not a lo- long time to forget things, you know. And I think this is the reason why this, because this involved a lot of people. This involved Virat, this involved Anushka Sharma, this involved Sunil Gavaskar. And I think this is something which has stayed in his mind, honestly speaking. I, I, I have no other explanation because I was surprised when he was saying this to Matthew Hayden. When Sunny Sunny was saying these things, Sunil Gavaskar was saying these things because we love him. And we treasure his comments. There are two cricketers whom I really look up to and I really treasure their comments. That is Sunil Gavaskar and Kapil Dev because they speak their mind and they call a spade a spade and a heart, heart a heart. So, when they get emotional uh, regarding these trivial things, um, you know, Mr. Shobjani gets hurt because Mr. Shobjani knows everything. Mr. Shobjani can understand everything. So, I hope you understood and you like this segment. I only spoke and this guy did not ask any questions. Hell, I didn't get any chance to ans- ask any questions to Mr. Shobjani. Mr. Shobjani went ahead and explained everything. So, well, I hope you like this segment. Mr. Shobjani, any parting words? Well, uh, I would just like to say watch me, uh, watch me and re- re- watch me in my, my interviews. I will be talking about uh, many more things about Mumbai Indians, about Hardik Pandya, about the uh, last match between CSK and Royal Challengers Bangalore. I don't get time to make my videos, but this was a video which was there on my mind for a very long time. So you call me for an interview in your humble abode and... Uh, I hope you all guys know and I hope Virat Kohli and Sunil Gavaskar they bury the hatchet and they come together and Sunny Bhai gives him some good advice before World Cup because I know Sunny Bhai will be the happiest person on earth if India wins the T20 World Cup and Virat hits the winning shot. Everything will be forgotten. So forget it. Bury the hatchet. Come on here. Fight about these things. You two are the, the greatest. Don't fight. And we cricket fans can understand it. Mr. Shobjani knows him. As I told you, I'm Sigmund Fraud plus Jung plus Adler. So I know everything plus Sherlock Holmes. So I know everything. I know everything. So any questions you have, uh, post your questions on my channel or anything. I will answer those questions. I'll answer them all. I am not, I'm not, pol- I'm politically incorrect. But I only state the truth. And I'm Sigmund Fraud. So that is it. I hope you all like my segment and um, I hope this is a... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, very good, Mr. Uh, Shabjani. Thank you so much for giving your time. And uh, I hope uh, you all like this segment and you will watch this video and you will like, share and subscribe to Mr. Shabjani. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Shabjani. Yes. Sure. Bye to all. Take care. Bye-bye.